Walker, after much consideration, Hampton University this afternoon became the first Division I school in Virginia to suspend all fall sports, including football. But what about basketball and spring sports? Nathan Epstein joins us with this breaking story. Hampton University has made its position clear since the start of the pandemic. It doesn't matter what the NCAA or the Big South thinks about. This is all about Hampton University protecting their students and their student athletes. The livelihood and well-being of their student body and their athletes is more important than playing games. I am all for health and safety. Hampton president Dr. William Harvey has had the full backing of head football coach Robert Prunty, who not only speaks as a coach. I have a son on this team, and I'm talking as a parent. As a father, I would tell those parents that the same thing that I feel for my son is you have a right to have a concern. Game is over. The Ivy League and Patriot League have both canceled their football seasons and the Big Ten has called off all non-conference games. But what about the possibility of any football at all? People are not saying, but they're implying they're nervous because we don't know. And the NCAA is not really going to monitor this. They're going to leave it up to the states, the CDC. Uh, the individual universities and the conferences. And as for basketball, you know, we can hope, but the reality is we'll have to adjust to whatever the pandemic brings us. We are hoping for the best, but bracing for the worst. And Hampton's hope is to have sports resume in the spring. For the Sports Wrap, I'm Nathan Epstein. All right, thanks, Nathan. Now, with Hampton suspending its season, Old Dominion now loses its second football game of the year. That's a home game. If the ACC decides to only play conference games, which might happen, ODU would lose home games against Wake Forest and Virginia. And now with Hampton off the schedule, all three of those games would be big money home game losses for ODU.